Hello everyone, I'm Prophetess Jane. I'm an elder at City Family Church in Coventry. Today I want to say to you, the devil talks big, but God laughs, God laughs, God laughs at the devil. The devil talks big. People used by the devil can be talking very big, but God laughs and you can laugh as well. The devil always wants to make himself seem so massive, so big, so insurmountable. And he always wants to make people quake. I'm going to read you 1 Kings 20, 1 to 14, and we'll see what God did here when the devil tried to make King Ahab and his people quake. Ben-Hadad attacks Syria. Now Ben-Hadad, king of Aram, mustered his entire army, accompanied by 32 kings with their horses and chariots, he went up and besieged Samaria and attacked it. He sent messengers into the city to Ahab, king of Israel, saying, <clears throat> this is what Ben-Hadad says, your silver and gold are mine, and the best of your wives and children are mine. The king of Israel answered, just as you say, my lord the king, I and all you have are yours. The messengers came again and said, this is what Ben-Hadad says. I sent to demand your silver and gold, your wives and your children. But about this time tomorrow, I'm going to send my officials to search your palace and the houses of your officials. They will seize everything you value and carry it away. The King of Israel summoned all the elders of the land and said to them, See how this man is looking for trouble. When he sent for my wives and my children, my silver and my gold, I didn't refuse him. The elders and the people all answered, don't listen to him or agree with his demands. So he replied to Ben-Hadad's messengers, tell my lord the king, your servant will do all you demanded the first time, but this demand I cannot meet. They left and took the answer back to Ben-Hadad. Then Ben-Hadad sent another message to Ahab. May the gods deal with me, be it ever so severely, if enough dust remains in Samaria to give each of my men a handful. The king of Israel answered, Tell him, one who puts on his armour should not boast like one who takes it off. Ben-Hadad heard this message while he and the kings were drinking in their tents and he ordered his men, prepare to attack. So they prepared to attack the city. Meanwhile, a prophet came to Ahab, king of Israel, and announced, this is what the Lord says. Do you see this vast army? I will give it into your hand today and then you will know that I am the Lord. But who will do this? asked Ahab. The prophet replied, this is what the Lord says. <laughs> this is so funny. The junior officers. <laughs> The junior officers, the junior officers under the provincial commanders will do it. Send in the juniors, the juniors. So the devil is mocking Israel, God's people. He's boasting and he is bragging through Ben-Hadad that he, the 32 kings with him and their army would attack Samaria, take all the silver and gold and the best of the wives and children. 
Ben Haddad also announced that his officials would search King Ahab's palace and the houses of his officials and seize everything of value and carry it away. He announced that there wouldn't be enough dust left in Samaria to give each of his men a handful. Such boasting from Ben Hadad, the king of Aram. King Ahab quaked, but, but when the word of the Lord came through a prophet, he was strengthened. God talks to his prophets. The Lord, through the prophet, said, Do you see this vast army? I will give it into your hand today, and then you will know that I am the Lord. But who will do this? asked Ahab, the king. <clears throat> the prophet replied, This is what the Lord says. The junior officials under the provincial commander will do it. God is saying the juniors, send out the juniors, the inexperienced, the ones who are not battle hardened, send them out. God laughed at the demands of the enemy and God fought their battle. You can laugh too. This was God fighting their battle and you know what? He is fighting your battles too. Give your battles to God and see the deliverance of the Lord. The Lord. Who is your king? Your king is the king of kings, the Lord of lords. Who can usurp him? The devil tried and was thrown out of heaven for it. Jesus. Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. He doesn't change. So don't quake when the devil makes his demands on you. Don't quake when the devil tells you, you can never do it. You can never have it. God isn't enough for you. God isn't there for you. It will never happen. Don't you quake when the devil says his demands and his lies to you, boasting and bragging that he knows better. You just wait. You wait on the Lord God Almighty, who is mighty in battle and mighty to save. Amen. And don't forget to check out our website, www.cityfamilychurch.com for lots of sermons and teachings, inspirational and sound, just what you need, lots of music, testimonies, all kinds of things that you need today. Amen and God bless you.